Do you recognize this place? I'm sure you do. This is the Dragon Ball Super Apollo server. And last time I was here, let's just say things didn't exactly go my way. <laughs> And that's putting it lightly. But I'm back and I'm gonna spend another 100 days in this place. And this time my goal is to become one of the strongest players on this server. And I mean it this time. To be honest with you, it was probably like 300 more days that I spent here. But I'm just gonna keep it simple and say it's 100. And listen, if at any point you think, huh, this is a pretty good video, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. If you stick around, you will have an amazing time. I always do my best to ensure. So what do you say we do this thing? As good as it was to be back here, I couldn't forget my reason for coming back. It's because I got destroyed the first time I was here. And I wasn't gonna let that happen a second time. So I needed to get straight into training. First, I trained with Android 16. And I put all those training points into Constitution. And then, I trained with Android 17. And I put those training points into Spirit. Not really much of a plan going into this training, I just wanted to get myself warmed up because there's a lot of training that's about to come up in this video. And that's pretty much what I did for the first couple hours. Nothing but training. And throwing a lot of training points into spirit because during my training, my key would run out so quickly. So I wanted to address that first before I continued with any actual training. Then I headed over to the crate caverns. Basically what this is is like a bunch of crates full of rewards. You have certain tokens which, as you can tell, I didn't really figure out at this point. But you're supposed to go over to one of these NPCs, give them the, the, the little tokens, and then they give you a key back. And you use that key to open up one of the chests. And you get a bunch of rewards like training points, maybe another key, and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Then after that, it was time to get straight back into training, but this time with Gohan in his Super Saiyan form. And this time I poured every training point into Dexterity, because if I'm going to win that fight at the end, I'm going to need to have as high defense as I possibly can. And just to give you some perspective, every time I mention training, it's hours of training. Not 5 minutes, not 30, hours of training. My basic plan starting this off with the training is to get my constitution and my dexterity at a really good point because these two are really what's going to determine whether I win or lose. And also dexterity is very important for the story so there's always that too. And of course we also can't forget strength. Now I made a mistake with strength, right? My character build is warrior. That's what I chose at the beginning. I should have poured way more training points into strength but that's that conundrum is going to bear its teeth way later on in the video. Let's just say I'm gonna really regret not putting more training points into strength. So my next step in this process was to upgrade Super Saiyan 2 to max level. The thing is, the tokens you get to upgrade Super Saiyan 2 are really rare, so this takes hours. I, I wish I could portray just how long this took, but it took ages. And at the same time, while I'm training to upgrade Super Saiyan 2, I'm also getting training points, so I got a massive amount. I threw 5 million training points into Constitution, and another 5 million into Dexterity. Yeah, that's how many training points I was getting during all of this. After training for a couple more hours for what felt like days, I finally did it. I maxed out Super Saiyan 2. And unfortunately, this isn't really even the beginning of all the training. This is just scratching the surface. Because after maxing out Super Saiyan 2, it was right back to training. This time, I trained for so long that I had 30 million training points. All of which I threw into Constitution and Dexterity. Okay, so at this point I realized that the training was taking way too long. Like extremely long. If I was gonna actually do this, I needed to find a much more effective method to gaining training points. And thankfully there was. So the best way to get training points in the server is to actually redo past missions. So. The mission I chose to redo was the Mysterious Duo mission, which, if I remember correctly, gave me 100,000 training points every time I defeated these two, which is way quicker than what I was getting before. And still, this is just the beginning. After training for a couple hours, I decided it was time to continue the story. And my next opponent in the story was Super Gotenks. And this fight was tough. This fight was tough. But I managed to defeat him. And after defeating Super Gotenks, it was time to move on to Evil Majin Buu. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's over. This fight went as horribly as you can expect. Horribly. In fact, my only way to win was to come back with a bunch of Vita drinks. Like a bunch of them. If it wasn't for the Vita drinks, I would have I would have died a second time easily. 
And then I had to fight Super Saiyan 3 Goat Tanks in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, which, again, was also a very close fight. But I managed to defeat him. And after that, guess, guess who showed himself in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber? Guess who showed himself? Super Boo. So, well, you know how this went. This went horribly. Is what I would have said if I didn't have a ton of Vita drinks. And then it was time for a quick sparring session with Gohan. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. You're supposed to hold back when we're sparring, right? <laughs> Not Gohan. This guy... This guy killed me. I came back for a rematch, but this time, I had the upgraded version of the Vita drinks. You see those yellow cans? These things are basically sensu beans. I knocked Gohan out like it was nothing. After finishing this part of the story, I was able to go and unlock Super Saiyan 3. Because of how long it took to max out Super Saiyan 2, I absolutely I refuse to max out Super Saiyan 3. I can't be I just can't be bothered. I don't it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna max out Super Saiyan 3. But anyway, I figured now was a good time to do some movie missions. Our next mission was to help out the great Saiyan man fighting some crime in the town, and yeah, this was nothing. This was just uh, like a fly on my shoulder. Then Boma had me looking for Dragon Balls for a couple hours. When I say couple hours, I mean it, because for some reason I figured I could do this without the Dragon Radar. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I know. My next opponent was Min... Minotia? Minotia? However you say his name, it doesn't matter, because I knocked him out anyway. Then my next opponent after that was Hirudagon. And again, I completely destroyed him. Not even using Super Saiyan 3, just Super Saiyan 2. I used all the training points from those missions to upgrade dexterity. But that's enough movie missions now. Time to get back to the real story. My next opponent was once again Super Boo. And look, in any other circumstance, I'd probably lose this fight because I have 23 Vita drinks and there's just no way. I completely destroyed Super Boo. Well, destroyed is an over... It's an over exaggeration, but I destroyed him. No matter who he ended up absorbing, I destroyed every single one of them. Then he absorbed me, so I had to fight him while I was inside Majin Buu at the same time. Either way, I destroyed him. My next mission was called Buu's Rage, and I, I see why it was called Buu's Rage. Anyway, I put all the training points that I got from all the missions I'd done into Dexterity. I came back to Boo's Rage with 73 Vita Drinks. Of course, there's no way I lose this. 73 Vita Drinks is crazy. And then, my final mission for the Dragon Ball Z Saga. Ultimate Spirit Ball. Now, I want you to pay attention to Boo's health bar. Pay attention, okay? He's gonna... Look at his health bar. Watch when I lock on. Look at his health bar. Yeah, I'm not scratching him. I'm not doing... A d I'm barely doing any damage to him. Even with this many Vita drinks, it's over. It's over. After that last, I figured I should go do some movie missions just to gain some training points. And once again, I'm not gonna try to say his name. But I, I knocked him out, okay? I destroyed him. Again, only in Super Saiyan 2, not Super Saiyan 3. And then, I had to go up against his evolved form. The result was the same nonetheless. Complete destruction on his end. You know, I'll give him props. I had to use Super Saiyan 3 this time. And a couple of Vita drinks. So, you know, props were props to do.
Then I decided to do some training with one of the old Majin Buu missions. If I, can't, if I remember correctly, this was like 150,000 training points. I'm putting that number out of thin air, by the way, so I have no clue. But I remember it was a pretty good amount, so this gave me a pretty good boost. I put all the 30 million training points into Constitution, which just to reiterate, upgrades the amount of health I have. And then Dexterity upgrades the amount of damage I can take with that health. And then I decided to train with Piccolo Buu in the arena. And then also Super Majin Buu. I put all those training points into Dexterity. And then I was back. I was back to fight the final fight with Buu once again. But this time, I was harboring 16 Sensu Beans. And you know, you know how I am with these Sensu Beans. It's over for Buu. It's completely over. There was... It's over. Now actually, that wasn't actually the last, last mission. My last mission was to spar with Goku while he transforms into all of his different forms. So this was less a mission and more just a goodbye to the Dragon Ball Z story. And then, it was time to go into the Dragon Ball GT storyline. And my first opponent was a oob. And then, uh, I don't really know what happened here, but uh, I destroyed him still. I feel bad for peel off sometimes. And then my next opponent was Legic. And then, I had to fight a giant in his underwear. And then I had to face off against the monstrosity that is Zunama. Look at this, look at his face! And then, next was some giant underground earthworms. I destroyed these guys too, by the way. Just if you didn't think that already. And then I faced off against the Power Brothers. I don't know what's up with the Power Brothers, but I destroyed them. And then after that, my next opponents were transformed Muchi. And Lord Lud. And then after that, of course, full power, Lord Lud. And then a spider, which was surprisingly tougher than all the other fights, by the way. Next was Nat from the Red Ribbon Army. And then I went back to doing some movie missions, and this time, my opponent was Gogeta. So I had to go full power for this one. And by the end of all those fights, I had 204 million training points, of which I put into Dexterity and Constitution. And I figured now was a good time to continue with the Dragon Ball Super missions. And my next mission was Return to the Overworld. And I had to face Goku in a Super Saiyan 3 form. And look at the amount of Sensu Beans I'm harboring on me. I destroyed him. And the next was Beerus himself. And again, the amount of Sensu Beans I have, this is... This was obviously a win. But if it wasn't for the Sensu Beans, I would have been destroyed. I used all the training points I gained into Dexterity. After that, I had to face off against Beerus by the cruise ship. And once again, I destroyed him. Thanks to the Sensu Beans, obviously. The training points I gained from that fight all went straight into Constitution. Then, once again, Bulma made me look for a bunch of Dragon Balls. But this time I used the Dragon Radar. And then my next mission was Shenron's Tale, which is basically a story about Yamoshi. The first Super Saiyan God. And of course, because this is Dragon Ball Super Apollo, they're not just gonna tell me the story, they're gonna make me reenact it. So I had to defeat a bunch of Shadow Dummies. Then after defeating those Shadow Dummies, I had to defeat a Shadow Dummy of Yamoshi himself. I died, obviously. I got, I got wiped to the ground. I used all the training points I gained at this point in Dexterity. And then I was right back, right back. I didn't care that I was still too weak to fight him. I was ready to destroy Yamoshi. Or his shadow dummy, I should say. Third time's the charm. 
I'm telling you, third time's the charm. I destroyed him. And then, after that, I was finally able to unlock the Super Saiyan God form. This is really good progress, but again, there's still a lot of training to do, because there's always still Super Saiyan Blue. So, I went right back to Overworld and trained with Goku. This is actually the best mission to redo to get training points in the whole server. So, I trained with Goku for a couple hours, and then I realized because I wasn't doing enough damage to Goku yet, it was actually slower than just redoing this Majin Buu mission. So I trained like this instead. What better way to test out my new Super Saiyan God power than against Beerus himself, who was my next opponent. I managed to destroy him in that cave I was fighting him in, and then I had to fight him in space. And again, I destroyed him. And then my next opponent was Goku in his, his Super Saiyan God form. And once again, I destroyed him too. And then, it was time to enter Beerus' world. My next opponent was Vegeta only in his Super Saiyan form, and I figured, oh, huh, this is easy. What, what does he think? This is gonna be tough? As soon as I saw that, I, I just ran. I ran away. Anyway, at this point, I was sitting on 58 million training points, of which I poured every single one into dexterity. And then, I went back to destroy Vegeta, but this time, I was carrying 10 sensu beats. And I knocked him out. And then I figured it was time to switch over to movie missions again. And this time, my next opponent was Janemba. Then, after that, I had to face the Sigma Force Commander. And then after that, I defeated Rildo. And then I had to find HWM-100X. He's a robot, and I defeated him. And then after that, I made short work of Baby Trunks. And then I had to take out a Sabretooth. Man, Dragon Ball GT is everywhere. And then I had to defeat a bunch of Polar Zunamis? What? And then I had to defeat Baby. He's pretty tiny, so I knocked him out pretty easily. And then I was up against Baby Goten. At the end of all that, 189 million training points, of which all I put into Constitution, and once again, Dexterity. Notice how strength is going neglected? Yeah, that's gonna bite me in the neck. Anyway, my next opponent was Baby Gohan. Then, Baby Vegeta. And he destroyed me. So I figured it was time to go back to the training room and train my Super Saiyan God form up a little bit. And by training with Goku in his Super Saiyan God form, I gained a little bit of experience in my God form, but not as much as I would get from training with Whis, which is coming later on. And then my next opponent was Beavis. Beavis? If you haven't noticed already, I'm pretty much just doing these missions to gain the training points, like training to, prefer, uh, to prepare me for that final fight. I have no idea who Beavis is, but after that, I had to knock out Krillin, which was easy. Then it was back onto Beerus' world, and this time, I had to face off against Whis himself. If you look on the top right, his health is purple. Why? That's way too big of a power jump. I got destroyed. It is what would have been the case if I didn't have so many sensor beans. I destroyed him. And just like that, we've entered the Golden Freezer Saga. And of course, the first people I have to knock out is his henchmen. And then after that, I faced off against Shisami. But it's actually jokes on him because I had 185 million training points, 
which I put into constitution and dexterity, of course. And just to get some more training points before I go back to fight Frieza, I decided to do some GT missions again, and I completely destroyed baby Vegeta this time. And then immediately after that, Goten showed up. And then not even a second after that, Gohan showed up. I destroyed him too. And then, Super Baby. After defeating him once, I had to face off against him again. This time, Super Baby 2. And then once again, I had to face off against Oob. Even though he transformed mid-fight, he still got knocked out. Then I had to fight Golden Great Ape Goku. And you know what that means. I'm gonna have to fight against Super Saiyan 4 Goku next. Absolutely not even a chance. I got destroyed. Not even a chance. But luckily for me, I gained 102 million training points. And I put all those into Constitution. And then I went back to face off against Frieza again. And this time, I destroyed him. Both his base form and his golden form. Doing all that, the Whis training finally unlocked. Now to quickly explain this Whis training, basically, you come here, you talk to Whis, and he gives you uh, one of a couple missions. Either it's to collect some hieroglyphs, make a divine dish, or do some sparring with Goku or Whis or Vegeta. And every time you finish one of these missions, go over to Whis and he'll give you a lot of XP for your god form. But the thing is, you have to wait 30 minutes in between each mission. So yeah, it can take a super long time to max out Super Saiyan God. So this is what I did for a while. Do one mission, wait the 30 minutes, do the next mission, wait another 30 minutes, do the next mission, rinse, repeat. And this took a huge amount of time, by the way. Trying to max out my Super Saiyan God form took ages. Anyway, after all that training and fighting, I decided it was time for a well-deserved break. And one of the players on the server, Rionson, showed me showed me around the US-1 lobby. Which at first I figured my connection would be too weak to get on there, but actually it turns out my connection was perfectly fine. And then he took me over to the arena. Not the PvP arena, but just one of the arenas on the server and it looked insane. I figured maybe I would stay on the US-1 server. I didn't see why not. It seemed like there was more stuff going on. In the why am I in my underwear? So it turns out every time you switch a server, you don't actually keep any of the stuff you had on the previous server, which makes sense. Uh, that does make sense. So I figured I'd look around the US-1 server a little bit to see if I can't find any, any actual clothing. And would you believe my luck? I found some over by the actual PvP arena. And you know what? I like this. I like this. This is clean. I like this. Honestly, knowing that I only have this on the US-1 server really made me want to stay on this server. And then Rian came back again, but this time he wanted to show me the fusion technique, which I know is obviously in Dragon Box C, but I've never actually done it before. Now watch this. Watch this. Look. Uh, is there anything that needs to be said? And this here, this fusion, is what inspired my next outfit. I did want to change up the gi that I usually wear, so I figured, why not get Gogeta's armor? Because look how sick this looks. Anyway, back to all the training. I trained for a couple of hours, trained with Whis for a couple of hours. I say a couple, but it was it was more like days. That's what it felt like. I trained and trained and trained. I did everything Whis was asking me, and I trained and trained. Then, I unlocked Super Saiyan Blue. And then I felt pretty confident to go on with the Dragon Ball Super story and look what they did to Jiren. Anyway, if you couldn't tell already, it's the Universe 6 saga now. My first opponent, Butamo, and I destroyed him. Then I faced off against Frost, the budget freezer. I destroyed him too. And then next was Magetta. And then I completely destroyed Kaba in his base form and his Super Saiyan form. And then unfortunately for me, my next opponent was Hit. But after all that, I had 640 million training points. And if you couldn't tell already, Dexterity and Constitution are maxed. What I should have done here was put the, my training points into strength, but instead I put them into spirit for some reason. And then, 
I went back to training for Super Saiyan Blue Max. After hours of doing Whis's chores, I did it. I unlocked Maximum Super Saiyan Blue. And then the servers went down. Anyway, I went back to fight Hit again. I destroyed him. And then my next opponent was Beerus pretending to be Monaka. And then I had to fight a bunch of bandits in the desert, destroyed every single one of them. And then, it was time for the Copy Vegeta saga. You know that slime copy of Vegeta? Yeah, I destroyed him too. Both in his base form and his Super Saiyan Blue form. And all I did was train with Goku on Otherworld for what felt like days. Nothing but training. I upgraded Spirit and Willpower, which if you didn't know basically upgrades the damage that my key attacks do. And Spirit upgrades the amount of key that I can hold. And then it was time for the last few missions of the GT storyline. First, I had to fight off against Omega Shenron. And then after that I had to fight against Baby Vegeta. And then finally, Goku Jr. And then I realized I had some armor tokens in my inventory after doing all those missions. I figured it was time to start collecting my armor, my Gogeta armor to be exact. And look at this, with like the, with like the black under the, <laughs> way too fire. And after doing some grinding, this is what it looks like completed. I don't think I've ever felt more ready in my life. I think that final fight is just over the horizon now. But there's something I haven't showed you yet. Kaioken times 10 with Super Saiyan Blue. It's fight time. I went over to the PvP arena and found these two sparring already, so I figured I'd watch for a second. You know, let them do their thing. Afterwards, Zyron challenged me to a sparring match. And this, this is where things changed a little bit, right? This is where things went completely wrong. I thought I was ready. Look, did you see that? That is Super Saiyan 4. And remember how I told you I wasn't upgrading strength enough? I realized that not only was I almost doing no damage to him, but he was doing way more damage to me. I, I couldn't understand why. Why was I not doing any damage to him? It's my strength. I neglected it this entire time. Someone with max dexterity needs you to have max strength to defeat them. It's just how it goes. And I got completely knocked out. We sparred again a couple of times, but Zaron gave me a tip that I should upgrade my strength way more than what I've been doing. In fact, it should be maxed out by now. And he was right. Even with Kaioken, I couldn't scratch him. I couldn't even... Not a dent. So, I trained. And trained, and trained, and trained, and trained. Hours and hours and hours and hours. And then I also figured I should try get Super Saiyan 4, but I learned that it actually takes a lot longer to get Super Saiyan 4 than it took to get Super Saiyan Blue. So it's more than double the time. And I just, I didn't have it in me. Did not have it in me to grind out another 50 hours just so I can unlock Super Saiyan 4. Would it be good to have? It would be. It would make me much stronger. But you know what? I'm just going to stick with Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken times 10 for now. And look, whatever the outcome is, and this is going to sound like heavy cope. I did achieve everything I wanted to achieve in this server. I am one of the strongest players, to be honest. I could come back and max out my character, but we'll see. For now, let's have that final fight. Alright, here's my plan, okay? I know my thing sounds so goofy right now. It sounds terrible. My plan is full power. That's it. Go full power. That's it. Listen, if I lose, if I lose to anyone, I still became one of the strongest. So it's, it's really no big deal. I don't mind. And also, I don't want to spend another uh, 50 hours training. So let's head over to the arena. There might looks like there's still people there. Oh shoot! <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> so now wait, wait. This guy's testing his key attack on me. I can't even see it. All right, corner to corner. So I'll just go Super Saiyan Blue. All right, let's go. His key attacks can't do any damage to me. All right. He missed. Alright, keep flying, it's cool. Why can't I sprint? It's like it stops. Alright, he's pretty good at dodging. Oh shoot, wait, he's gonna kill me. I need to dodge his key attacks. Dodge his key attacks! I can't get a single hit on him. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh gosh, okay. Okay. 
I need to. Come on, he's dead. Oh shucks. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh dang it. That's crazy, man. Rematch. I don't even know what he's saying. Rematch. Ah. <laughs> oh. All right. His key attacks may be. <laughs> That's crazy. Did I do what I came to achieve in this video? Let's think about this. Did I? Well, let's let my stats speak for themselves, right? Let's let the stats speak for themselves. I probably s sound goofy with this broken friggin' microphone. Strength, maxed out. Dexterity, it's maxed. Constitution, maxed out. Willpower, not maxed. Which, okay. Uh, spirit is maxed out. Everything is maxed out except for willpower. Now, key attacks are indeed the strongest, like, way to attack in this mod. I'm just gonna... Let me challenge someone else. Let me... <laughs> What? Why is this guy- Oh, shucks, wait. Oh, shoot, wait, come back. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Listen, I don't count any of these as a losses. All right? Some of you might be like, oh, Kanji, but you didn't even, you know? I am one of the strongest, just my key's just lacking. Okay, that's it. I might max out my character, I don't know. I might. Listen, listen, all right, listen closely. Ignore the bad microphone. If at any second you enjoyed this video, I invite you. It's just an invite to hit the subscribe button. Okay? Because listen, if you stick around, you will have an amazing time. I do my best to ensure that. Always. You know, and I think for now that puts an end to the Dragon Ball Super Apollo server. Obviously, there'll be a... Uh, but I might come back to max out my character. I don't know. But I've had a lot of fun on this server, so it's been good. Listen, while you're down there hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button. Alright, just tap it just a little bit. Tiny bit. And of course, stay hopeful. I'll see you in the next video. Until then. 私はここ